All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're the Star Wars BB-8 team, uh, Team 21 for Senior Design this semester. And so myself, I'm Alex Starnes. My name is Zuhair Bedwan. I'm Andrew Gooden. And I am John McLean. Here we're kind of giving, um, you know, hobbyists at home, the, guy, the guys or girls that want to just work in their garage for a weekend or two and create a fun project that's, that's similar to a current movie out. And so that's the Star Wars movie with the rolling ball bot. And so here we've created a hobbyist version of that bot and allows them to create it in an affordable manner that's also pretty easy to do in a sense that it's not a lot of, um, a lot, a lot of technical work that I would defer anybody from wanting to participate in it. So our, our project implementation here was, uh, we tried to go with as simple as possible for the DIY hobbyists at home. Uh, basically it's a four wheel design so that four wheels are contacting the inside of the ball at all times and you just spin on those four wheels or drive those four wheels to roll the ball around the robot. All right, so for the software side of things, we were asked to create an iPhone app, as you can see here. And so essentially here, this allows for someone with an iPhone to control the BB-8 over Wi-Fi. And so here we connect both to NCSU, we connect our phone to the NCSU Wi-Fi, as well as our, um, our BeagleBone to NCSU, NCSU Wi-Fi. And so with that, we both connect, and when it's connected, I can control the motors uh, depending on where my position is, uh, sorry, where the position of my thumb is on the game. So, unsuspectingly, the greatest challenge that we faced here was actually coming up with the ball for the projects. Uh, we found that it was incredibly expensive to have one produced as a one-off uh, production. 3D printing was well over $1,000 bare minimum to get a ball. Uh, and so it took us the better half of the year to come up with a ball. And we ended up having to settle for these styrofoam balls that we have here. So specific project management skills that we came across here uh, were definitely identifying the key risks in a project. And one thing that we missed was the ball. We didn't realize how difficult it was going to be to come up with a two hemispheres that are hollow that can be connected and disconnected so that you can get in, gain access to the robot. So uh, identifying critical risks and critical paths in a project are definitely the things that we learned the hard way.